natural profession. Like We're born with a needy love. Somebody has always had to be there. When Jonathan was first born uh, and his mother was in the hospital with him, uh, I made sure that the first time when he opened his eyes to see me, it was with a box of milk in my hand, that I had a check in my hand, because I knew I was going to take care of it. Amen. And most of us, at least in the Western Hemisphere, are born with somebody there to take care of us. Mm -hmm. Right? We're born, and there's a need. Somebody's always there to take care of our needs. So that fulfills our perception. That tells me somebody's always got to provide for me until I learn to do for myself. And because of that, we don't uh, right away, because we're born in time, we don't, we don't right away get this God perception that we're supposed to have. We don't come out of the womb going, he ma na 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 see na 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 We don't come out of the womb speaking in tongues. We come out of the room pissed off, crying and hungry. Put me back in, it's cold. We come out of the womb wanting. And we leave earth wanting. Come out of the womb wanting some meat. Came here hungry. Came here needing something. Always needing. And because of that perception, we don't, and a lot of us, and it's really bad for some of us because we don't latch on to God until later in our years. Until we get to this age where something in us is unfolding and developing. And a lot of us, I know for me, it was me dealing in my teenage years. A part of me was unfolding, and I, 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 I was after God. And it's bad for some when you're trying to find your own identity up against the backdrop of a world that tells you you gotta have this, or you gotta have that, and if you don't have a woman, you ain't nothing, you don't have a man, you ain't nothing, and if you ain't driving the latest truck, you ain't nothing. And your life ain't got nothing to do with none of that. The Bible says a man's life does not consist in the abundance of things which he possesses. Now that don't mean God don't want you to have stuff and things, but he don't want that stuff to have you. Unfortunately, because we come in this world with that type of perception, it keeps us from seeing the will, the true intent of God. But this is why Jesus died to give us back our true perception. This is real for me. I hope it's real for you. God sent his son to pay the price to not only restore his relationship with you, but to give you back a true perception. Amen. Fix your gaze on the right one. Looking, uh, Paul said it this way, I do believe, looking unto Jesus. Mm. The Glory author to God. The, the author and the finisher of our faith. See? I, I, uh, I'll, I'll end with this. I had, uh, when I was a young girl, about my son's age, 14, I had this keyboard, Yamaha uh, PSS 680, 61 notes, but it was a miniature keyboard. That thing was small. I'll say it was from here to here. It was just this big. I could pick it up in my arm and carry it. But boy, you hooked that thing up. <laughs> <laughs> thing had bass galore, had sounds. I mean, wow. Small thing, packed a lot of power. Fell in love with that thing. One day, the amp went cuckoo. Playing in the amp, and the amp just lost his face. Whoa. I hated playing it. Something happened with the sound. And the Holy Ghost is saying to some of y'all today, the reason why life doesn't seem interesting anymore is because the sound is, is missing from your life. The Holy Ghost is characterized by sound. And then all the read that 
can read Acts 2. All of us love sound. Now this, now, this is the church that I'm raising you to love sound. I raised all my kids on sound. They can tell you, <laughs> my son Jonathan, Queen, Amanda, all of them can tell you. China, they all can tell you when they go to a church and the PA ain't right, they go, uh uh. Tell them, they, they be on my nerves. They're like, Daddy, go back there and tell them to fix that. <laughs> like, what am I going to do? These people don't know me. They can't walk up in sound. Jonathan comes out of the concert like, ugh, that sounded like garbage. They need to fix this. They need to fix that. They, why? Because their ears are trained. And if it doesn't sound right, they can tell you. Well, guess what? The Holy Ghost is the best sound engineer. Yes, sir. And he can alert you when there's an off mix going on. <laughs> All you got to do is pay attention. Thy kingdom. I guess we got stuck right there, huh? Thy kingdom come. Your will, your law be done. We have this confidence that he hears us when we pray according to his will, his law. In his law, his will, his precepts, his truth, mm -hmm. doth he meditate day and night. Mm -hmm. He should be like a tree, firmly planted. A big a big giant oak, I believe, the Amplified Bible says, planted by the river of water, bring forth fruit in the season. Leaf also shall not wither. Whatever he does, prospers. <laughs> I was telling my son to do a keyboard. Uh, so I pray. I pray you really got this. I pray you're really getting this. If you're watching this you stream, go home and watch it again. Go home and watch it again. Go to sleep with it. So you can tell when the sound of your life is off. I want you to believe every word this Bible says. Because you can work it, you can do it. James 1.22 is the key to activate everything in here. Uh, be ye doers of the word, not hearers only. It doesn't profit you just to hear. Hear plants the seed into the good ground, but doing brings manifestation. Okay? Everybody stand. Go ahead and sing for me, John. <laughs> you said wrong. Thy kingdom come. Those of you that are looking at us, we're about to go off the air in just a few minutes. I want to invite you um, and remind uh, those of you that are here, June the 26th and the 27th, we're having family and friends weekend here uh, at Zion City International inside the tabernacle. Everybody play, clap your hands for that. Yeah. Your name, right? <laughs> um, June 26th is the dinner. We're going to have a nice family fellowship dinner. All of the people, uh, all the families, uh, the members of our churches, and uh, all the people that we invite will be here. We're just going to have a wonderful time of fellowship. Amen. Somebody say amen. Amen. Look forward. It's going to be good fellowship, good music. Amen. We're going to uh, have things to do and people just to sit down. We're going to talk to everybody, talk to our members. And then on the 27th, amen, everybody say 27. 27. Uh, Saturday night, we want to do our best to pack this place out with our friends and our family because that night, pay attention, that night will be our baptism service. Now the way, because we don't have a pool, the way the Lord has given us to do is that our children are going to be, because we're going to baptize everybody in church. We have a lot of members that just joined. We need to baptize all of them. Amen. 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 So we're going to put them in baptismal garments. And yes, we are going to sprinkle them. Amen. Amen. Now, why the Lord, why am I going to do that? Because number one, I don't have the unction. And I work by unction of the Spirit. I don't have the unction to go off looking for somewhere else to have this. I don't feel in my spirit to go anywhere else to do this. And I feel that right now it would break, it would break rank. Amen. For us to go off to another location. 
we're going to do it right here. Amen. Amen. So we, we're going to take, we're going we're gonna to get a baptismal fountain, and we're going to consecrate you and sprinkle your big old forehead. <laughs> Amen. In symbolism. We want everyone to be here the week before so we can explain to you what baptism is. Amen. Amen. And how you you go down old and you come up new. Amen. And you're, how you're raised to new life. Amen. But something special is going to happen during this baptism. Prophecy is going to be given. The gifts of the Spirit are going to flow uh, during this dedication and this consecration. So people are going to be filled with the Holy Ghost. Amen. Glory be to God. That's right. That was a good view. Amen. Really? <laughs> Take it to the head. Uh, some people are going to be filled with the Holy Ghost. We're going to sit them in that chair. We're going to anoint them with oil. We're going to sprinkle their heads. We're going to prophesy over their lives. Amen. We're going to baptize them that way. And the Spirit of God is going to bless them. Amen. And I pray um, that you'll be with us. Those of you that need prayer, call the number at 313-748-8811. And you can uh, also, uh, you can write us in the chat box over the stream, there in the social stream. Okay, uh, Monday night, and you can email us at Zion City International Church uh, dot org at, at Yahoo. I'm sorry. Zion City International Church at Yahoo.com. Z O E M dot com. Amen. Dot com. And uh, we'll be glad to write you back. <laughs> Remember Monday night at 8 30. Monday night at 8 30. Monday night at 8 30. We are uh, we are on Ustream with man with the Monday Monday night. Monday night manifest, Lucia. Amen. And uh, <laughs> what a wonderful time of fellowship. We just get in front of the camera and teach the word. And, uh, and it's a beautiful time. You can call in the same number, 313 748 8811, and uh, get your questions in. Huh? You can leave a voicemail, you can leave a text, all that good old stuff. And uh, we'll be there to bless you. All of our Zion City families, we pray for some of our children are out sick today. We pray for their healing, we pray for their deliverance. Call your name out in prayer. We love you, Bree. We love you, Precious. Amen. We love you, Cheyenne. And there's some people uh, that are out, you know, summertime, brings graduations, brings proms, and brings picnics, and brings all kinds of stuff. And so uh, uh, and so that's what we want you here. June 26th and 26th, that's going to be our indoor picnic. <laughs> Amen. Praise the Lord. Now, now Zion City is going to go down to the riverfront. Amen. During the river days. But, uh, but we want to get to know our people here. Yes. God has given us a fresh crop and a harvest of souls. Yes. And we pray for them. We, let's give a shout out to my friend, my big brother, uh, Pastor and Bishop Tony Russell. Yes, Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. Here at the Tabernacle. Thank you so much for being a blessing to us. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise him all creatures here below. Praise him above ye heavenly hosts. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. So we see you Monday night at 8.30. Remember, this is Zion. We are not afraid. The vision yet lives. Greater is here. Clap your hands. God bless you.